Hello, everyone, to the Zigbee Wireless webinar. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Colin McLeod. I'm here from the marketing department. Today, I've got uh, Robert and Steve uh, on the call to answer any of your technical questions. If you have any questions, please feel free to enter them into the chat box, and we'll get to those at the end. So uh, thank you very much. Today, we're talking about data acquisition with a Zigbee wireless network. So the agenda for today, we're going to be discussing um, oh, this this webinar will take the form of a presentation followed by a Q&A period. Today we'll be starting with an overview of Zigbee wireless technology, talking about Zigbee data acquisition and specific DAQ modules, integrating those modules into SCADA, and then rounding things off with an example of how a Zigbee network might be applied in a factory setting. Uh, to start, just some quick background information. ICP DAS was established in 1993 and is headquartered in Sinchu, Taiwan. ICP DAS USA was launched in 2001 to support the North and South American markets. We have over 200 R&D engineers. We work closely with them to add new features to our existing products, develop new products, and to support our customers. Most of our products are ROHS compliant, meaning they are lead-free, and ISO 9001 certified. First topic, what is Zigbee? Uh, Zigbee was conceived in 1998 and standardized in 2003 as the IEEE 802.15.14 standard. Uh, Zigbee is a wireless radio network operating on the 2.4 gigahertz band, which means it's important to note at this point that, uh, Zigbee that a lot of Zigbee channels do in fact interfere with Wi-Fi channels, so make a mental note. Uh, and with a Zigbee 3.1 update coming later this year, Zigbee is undergoing continued development by the Zigbee Alliance, a consortium of developers and companies working together to support the standard. Fun fact, Zigbee was named after the dance honeybees used to communicate with their hives. I thought that was pretty interesting. It has most recently found a lot of applications in personal home automation systems, but uh, for our purposes, we will be focusing on its industrial applications, particularly in a factory setting. Uh, the advantage of a Zigbee network is that each device consumes relatively little power. The trade-off there is that data transfer is limited to 250 kilobytes per second. Zigbee signals are also limited to 100 meters line of sight unless you're using a repeater or a higher power transmitter. Some of our modules, the ZT2060 for instance, offers a higher transmission, lane, transmission range. Um, Zigbee networks use mesh topology, which is different from your standard wired bus network. So um, there is one Zigbee network coordinator on each network that passes instructions onto the other devices. Zigbee routers are able to repeat the functions of an end device. End devices... Oh, sorry. Z uh, Z Z Z Z Zigbee routers are able to repeat the signal from the coordinator, thus extending the network while performing some functions of an end device. End devices only talk to their parent node and stay in, in a sleep state until they are needed, which is in part what accounts for their low power consumption. Uh, a few quick examples of these devices would be our ZT2550 Zigbee host and serial converter, which establishes the Z Zigbee network while relaying instructions from a serial controller. There's the ZT2510 repeater module, which is just used to extend the signal, and then there is our ZT2026 remote IO module, which is a data acquisition module with uh, two voltage in and out channels and two digital in and out channels. And that communicates with its parent node, uh, which could be any of our Zigbee masters or repeaters. Which brings us to data acquisition with a Zigbee network. So I'm going to assume that anyone participating in this webinar is familiar with the concept, but in case you're not, data acquisition is the process of sampling real-world real world physical information and converting those samples into signals that an electrical device can understand. Our data acquisition devices support a wide range of inputs and outputs, both digital and analog, RTD, thermistor, thermocouple, voltage, etc. The data acquired can be logged and displayed in the control center and or sent to a PLC for M2M applications. As you can see with the gauges, alarms, stop, starts, commands, you get it. Okay, 
So what we're seeing are two different ways to build a data acquisition system using a Zigbee network. On the left-hand side, you can see what is essentially an RS-485 network using Zigbee as the bridge. This would obviously be useful in situations where the extension of a wired network would be inconvenient or even dangerous. So what we're seeing is that the I-7188 automation controller sends instructions to the ZT-2570 Zigbee host, and the ZT-2571 slave module converts the signal back to RS-485, passes the instructions on to a network of, remote, of uh, Modbus remote I.O. modules, which are in turn collecting data from sensors and sending instructions to the gauges, alarms, and motors. On the right-hand side, we see the same process handled by Zigbee end devices, the ZT-2017 and the ZT-2060. As you can see, instead of using the Zigbee as a bridge in a wired network, this one is its own wireless network, giving you the obvious advantages of uh, decreased wiring with a little more flexibility when it comes to placement. Another way to handle data acquisition with Zigbee is to use uh, paired IOs. So here you can see the ZT2052 IOP. It's a Zigbee-based digital input module that can be configured to tra uh, trigger relay and digital outputs from the ZT2042 there on the bottom right. Uh, since ZT2052 IOP features an embedded IO pairing function, there is no need to use an external controller. The status of each ZT2052 IOP channel triggers the corresponding remote digital output channels on the 2042. The 2052 constantly sends status updates of the digital input channels to the remote 2042 to ensure that the digital output channels are synchronized. Uh, it comes with external DIP and rotary switches for easy configuration. Zigbee Alliance-based modules with I.O. pairing can be used to synchronize di di digital signals in any environment where wiring is inconvenient. The ZT2052 IOP module acts as a Zigbee coordinator that provides eight-channel digital input pair connection uh, function with the 2042. An embedded I.O. channel binding function means that there is no need to use an external controller. It features ISM 2.4 gigahertz op operating frequency, wireless transmission range of up to 700 meters, and is uh, fully compliant with 2.4 GIEEE. The ZT2052 IOP also provides external DIP and rotary switches for easy configuration can be used to synchronize the digital signals in any environment where wiring is difficult. Uh, ZT2042 offers four photo MOS relay output channels and four sync digital output channels with short circuit protection. Each channel features photocoupler isolation. The, the 2042 has eight LED indicators to display the DO channel status, four kilovolt ESD protection, and 3000 VDC intramodule isolation are the standard. Users can easily configure, easily configure the module address, protocol, checksum, ZT PID, and ZT channel settings using a combination of rotary and DIP switches. Any of our Zigbee data acquisition modules can easily be attached to a SCADA system. The easiest way to do so, to incorporate a Zigbee network with your SCADA, is to use a Zigbee converter like the ZT2570 or the ZT2550 to provide an interface between the Zigbee network and wired master controllers like a PC so that Zigbee end devices can be addressed uh, by your existing SCADA system. There are not many Zigbee na native controllers capable of running software like Indusoft or our own Easy Data Logger, which, by the way, we provide for free with purchase of any module. To wrap up, we'll to bring everything together. Uh, I'll give a quick example of a product line management system using an industrial tr tr touchscreen controller and some of the Zigbee modules I mentioned before. A ZT2570 host repeater is connected to a laptop computer running Indusoft SCADA. It communicates wirelessly over the Zigbee network to ZT2571 slave converters, which are connected to the VPD-133, that's the touchscreen controller. Uh, ZT2060 digital input and relay output, and ZT2053 digital input modules are also in the network for data acquisition. Another ZT2571 slave converter 
is connected to serial I.O. modules and racks for data acquisition. All the data is gathered on the laptop running SCADA software where users can see the status of the entire factory, generate reports, log data, review alarms, and trends reports. So in summary, Zigbee Wireless Data Acquisition is a land of contrast. Uh, the, ad the advantages that, that it provides is low, uh, low power consumption, uh, and the mesh network design offers a flexible design and reliable functionality. Uh, I'd like to note that our modules are uh, DC powered, and I'd like to remind you again that Zigbee networks do sometimes I interfere with a Wi-Fi network. Um, and again, the, the trade-offs for the low power consumption and the flexibility is the low da data transfer rate. But if an individual device goes down, it's not the end of the world. In fact, the end devices are uh, spend most of their time in sleep mode until they need to send or receive data. So as long as a device has a link to its parent, then it will still function. So that's it for the presentation portion of, of the webinar. Uh, please feel free to ask any questions you may have. Uh, our contact information is on the screen. Please give us a follow on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn uh, to get the most up uh, to get our most recent updates. If you have any other questions, please feel free to call or email us. Okay, I'm not seeing any questions in the chat. Does anybody have any questions? All right, I'm going to go ahead and in conclude our webinar. Thank you again for attending. Um, again, our contact information is on the screen. Please follow us on, on social media. And uh, yeah. Thank you again for showing up. Have a great day, everyone.